What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, legendary, former four-division world champion, iconic superstar boxer, Roy Jones Jr., who is doing a media tour preparing for and promoting his upcoming legendary showdown with former undisputed heavyweight world champion, iconic legendary superstar boxer, Iron Mike Tyson, November 28th. With that said, obviously, when you have Roy Jones, you're going to ask him about the landscape of the sport of boxing, upcoming fights, so on and such. With that said, he was asked about this uh, October 17th massive showdown unification bout, which is being considered undisputed, but that's for another story, uh, between three-division world champion, unified lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, Vasil Hatek Lomachenko, and undefeated IBF lightweight world champion superstar boxer Teofimo Lopez, right? And Roy Jones uh, stated that uh, he believes that Teofimo Lopez has a high, percent, high percentage chance of being victorious. And he pointed to the fact that he believes that Vasil Lomachenko has a weak chin. He says that he has a suspect and his uh, chin and his chinny, right? He said, we've seen him hurt and dropped in other fights, and that could play a major role in this fight. As we know, Teofimo Lopez is young, 22 years of age. Uh, he's very athletic, and, and the ultimate key is he has a lot of power in both hands. And he says that could play a major role in a guy that's smaller in Vasil Lomachenko, who's coming up trying to create history. He says now he hears a lot of people saying that Vasil Lomachenko lost the step. He said no, his level of opposition has risen and he has risen in weight. So he's fighting guys that are bigger than him, right? He says so it's not the fact that, you know, uh, he's lost the step. He says uh, only to, only thing that uh, changed as far as a father time with him is the date on the calendar. He says so, yeah, age-wise he is getting older, but... He hasn't lost a step. It's just the level of opposition and the fact that he's going up against bigger guys. That's um, making him, you know, um, look, you know, uh, uh, it's even and out, right? You know, so uh, people get the um, misconception and and they believe that he's losing a step, and that's not the case. So he said, but he do, uh, uh, he is concerned that Lomachenko is chinny and that he's going up against a guy that has a lot of power athletic and has youth on his side and that could play a major role in this fight and that could be the downfall in uh Vasil Lomachenko not being successful against the young uh hungry Teofimo Lopez and I have to agree because see this is what I've been saying all along I don't think that Lomachenko will be able to stand up and withstand Teofimo Lopez's power see he will not be able to uh, use all of these angles in a quote-unquote matrix style and, you know, um, being able to use the footwork that he has and, you know, uh, to get himself out of, um, you know, harm's way. Because we saw him in harm's way against Jorge Linares, who is, uh, uh, you know, on the backside of his career, still was able to touch him and drop him. We saw uh, Luke Campbell uh, hurt him at least three times badly in their fight. He just wasn't able to close the show. Because they don't have the athletic ability nor the power of Teofimo Lopez. They don't possess that. So when Teofimo Lopez seriously gets Vasil Lomachenko hurt, then Lomachenko is in trouble because he will not be able to avoid Teofimo Lopez for the duration of that round. Especially, imagine if it's early in the round. He's going to be in serious trouble and Teofimo Lopez is going to close the show. Another difference is, I don't believe that Vasil Lomachenko has the power to keep Teofimo Lopez at bay. Now, he uses uh, a lot of angles and his boxing ability and his skill set to frustrate his opponents. He's not truly hurting them. He's frustrating them, and then they make a mistake, and he makes them pay. In the case of Teofimo Lopez, I don't believe that will be the case because I don't believe he has the power that Teofimo Lopez is going to be worried about. Now, Lomachenko said he saw something in the Richie Comey fight when Teofimo Lopez won the IBF strap from Richie Comey. He said that he saw in the Richard Comey fight uh, in the first round that uh, Richard Comey was having so much success. He says that uh, that gave him um, the confidence that he could definitely expose uh, Teofimo Lopez and he could be victorious against Teofimo Lopez. With that said, uh, he stated that 
in the second round, he felt like Teofimo Lopez just simply got lucky in an exchange, and he beat Richard Comey to the punch. His his punch got there first, and thus he was the victor in the fight. Uh, I don't believe that's the case. Uh, I believe that it was the skill set of Teofimo Lopez, and sometimes it does take him a little while to warm up. But in the case of Lomachenko, he's a little guy. With, he doesn't have the uh, the longest reach in the world. Uh, he doesn't have the most power in the world. What gets him over is his, his angles, his footwork, and his skill set. That's not going to be the case in this fight with Teofimo Lopez. Teofimo Lopez's athletic ability is going to nullify all of this quote-unquote matrix-style footwork and all of these abilities and all these angles that he uses. Uh, Teofimo Lopez is going to nullify that with his speed, his athletic ability, his youth, and uh, his ability to cut off the ring, right? His quickness. So uh, when Lomachenko is trying to use these angles and cut the ring off, and that's not going to work against Teofimo Lopez. And Teofimo Lopez is not going to be hesitant in this fight against Vasil Lomachenko either. Uh, like Teofimo Lopez recently stated in a, vil a video in the buildup to this fight, he says that all the guys before him were starstruck. And they were hesitant. They wasn't letting their hands go. That's not going to be the case in my uh, situation. I'm going to let my hands go. I'm not um, starstruck by Vasil Lomachenko. And nothing he do is going to get me off my square. Meaning that I'm going to press forward. He's also said that I'm going to shock Lomachenko with my ability to box as well. Which is going to force him into a mistake. I'm athletic enough to keep up with him and cut the ring off. And I'm, I have the boxing ability that nobody's giving me credit for that I could also keep up with him in that department as well. And I agree with Teofimo Lopez. But the difference is he's the bigger, stronger guy in this in this um, scenario. And I believe that he will eventually get to the uh, target before Lomachenko does. And, and I believe that before the ninth round, Teofimo Lopez will stop Vasil Lomachenko. He will at least drop him a few times in this fight, in my opinion. And I don't think the angles and the footwork uh, and the skill set is going to get Vasil Lomachenko over the, over the hump and pass the test in this contest. And I could be wrong, obviously. Anything ha can happen in the sport of boxing. Vasil Lomachenko is definitely a high quality, uh, uh, definitely a great, you know, uh, great mindset, great boxing knowledge, uh, high ring generalship. And like I said, he does have the skill set, and he does use these awkward angles. Uh, so anything is possible. I just can't see that being the case and frustrating a young, hungry, athletic, powerful Teofimo Lopez. I, I just can't see Lomachenko. If Teofimo Lopez lands, lands the punches that Jorge Linares landed, or he lands the um, punches that Luke Campbell landed, with the power that he possessed and the youth and ability, the athletic ability to be able to get to Lomachenko. See, Luke Campbell wasn't able to close the gap. He wasn't able to uh, um, cut the ring off when Lomachenko was you know, surviving in those instances, uh, and he just didn't have the ring generalship to be able to uh, um, dictate what Loma, what he wanted Lomachenko to do when he had him hurt and uh, put his back against the wall and be able to close the show. Teofimo Lopez does have that, and he's very, very confident in his ability. I believe that Luke Campbell, when he got Lomachenko hurt in those instances, he showed Lomachenko too much respect. You got to get rough and rugged with Lomachenko, a la Orlando Salido. That's the reason why he got the victory over him, okay? Uh, Jorge Linares is more finesse than he is uh, uh, physical. He doesn't possess too much physicality. He's a finesse fighter. You're not going to out-finesse Vasil Lomachenko. And so when he was able to drop Vasil Lomachenko with that uh, punch straight down the pipe, uh, he wasn't able to close the show, and he ended up in return... Uh, 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 getting stopped. So with that said, you know, um, Lomachenko is definitely a great fighter. Lomachenko definitely has a skill set, but I'm with Roy Jones. Uh, he's definitely showed that he's chinny. He definitely has been dropped. He showed that he's been hurt in multiple uh, occasions. So we know that he could definitely get hurt. We know he could get dropped. And uh, the X factor is Teofimo Lopez has more power than any of those other guys. Uh, he's not inactive. Uh, like Nicholas Walters. Nicholas Walters was inactive for too long when he stepped in the ring with Lomachenko. Now, he had a lot of power, but, you know, uh, he just didn't see too engaged in the fight to me, right? It seemed like he was just there going through the motions. Uh, he, he uh, you know, he called the quits on the stool, 
and then he, you know, he cashed out, and we haven't seen Nicholas Walters since. So, you know, uh, that's not going to be the case with Teofimo Lopez. He's going to be hungry. He's going to be, uh, uh, he's going to have a will of, of steel, and uh, he has all of that to go along with the fact that he has punching power and athletic ability and youth on his side with the confidence. I think that I'm with Roy Jones that Vasil Lomachenko could definitely be in trouble. But this is why we got to see the fights, because anything can happen in the sport of boxing. So October 17th, let's see what happens. But uh, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Buzz Sports TV. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe. Hit, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Buzz Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L. D, B, C, shout out to New Media, shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.